All right, everybody. I'm going to start working on the yellow submarine base. I got it on hold right now. I want to paint it down in, uh, in the basement. I'm setting up shop down there. I'm going to have a workshop down in the basement, which is cool. I've waited a long time for that to to happen, and it's going to take another couple weeks to get it done. But I already printed this out on decal paper. I got the Fab Four right here, and I got two choices of the yellow submarine to put on the base. Here's the base I'm going to use. I already centered where I'm going to put the uh, 3 16th hole for the tube to go through. There, I got the wire running through the sub. So I got my center line. I drew my circle for where I'm going to drill through on the base. Plus I got my power switch and the power plug. I'm going to have to figure out where I'm going to be putting those. Um, I put the switch either here or here, but I'll, I'll figure that out when I get to it. But I'm going to get working on the yellow submarine base. Once I get that all done, I'll film that. Um, I'll probably go with white. I was going to go with black, but I don't think that these guys are going to stand out too good. So since this is on white decal paper, they're standing out real good. They look really nice. So that's what I'm going to go with with the base. I'm going to paint it white. So I'm going to get started working on the yellow submarine base and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the yellow submarine base. Today I drilled out the holes this for the power switch. Inside here is the power plug. And I drilled out the 360th hole in the center. What I need to do is wire up the uh, power switch and the power plug and uh, I got them both from HDA Model Works the small one here where my thumb is is positive the, the longer one is negative this is the primer I used on the base I use this on all my bases and then uh, I usually go with black but this base I'm going to go with white I got a little bit of left in this can gloss white and then in the can behind it I got a little bit more probably enough to do the base and then if not I still got a whole can right here and I haven't even used yet I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the base once it's painted and cured I'll hit it with the clear coat and then I'll be able to apply the decals on it and then apply another coat over it to protect them but I'm gonna have the beetles right here I'm gonna probably have the, the yellow submarine decal maybe right here and I'm thinking about putting like a rainbow above here give it a little bit more detail uh, the beetles alone is going to look good in the yellow submarine but I might add that little bit more to it and add a rainbow above I'll figure that out when I get to it but I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the yellow submarine base and I'll talk with everybody later alright everybody another update on the yellow submarine base. Yesterday I took it outside, applied a couple coats of uh, white and let it dry and it turned out really nice. You can see here the, the shine to it turned out really nice. I like the results. So today is uh, August 3rd. I'm going to take it outside, hit it with a couple coats of clear. Um, probably put several coats on, not too heavy but enough to protect the paint. This is the paint that I used, the Craylon, indoor, outdoor, gloss white. Also um, wired up the power plug. Um, the small end here is positive, the long is negative, and then the switch as well. And then I also applied the clear on the decal paper put a couple coats so it's ready to go once the base is um, coated with the clear coat I'll let that I'll let that set overnight and, and dry real good before I go to the next step after I put the clear coat on I'll put the plug in and uh, uh, the switch and the power plug I figured I'd give everybody a quick update I'm getting close to getting the base done and I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, back on the Yellow Submarine base. This is Saturday, August 5th, and what I'm going to be doing today is applying the decals 
the Fab Four in the yellow submarine here. I'll apply to the base. Let it sit and dry for a couple hours. Then um, we've been having a lot of rain the last couple of days, so I'll probably take this down to the basement sometime this afternoon and apply the final clear coat over the decals to protect them. But the Fab Four are going to go right here. And then the yellow submarine right here, because here's the power switch. And then on the side here, I got the power plug. So I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the yellow submarine base. Once I get all that part, um, the decals on the base, I'll go ahead and film that to show everybody how it turned out. And I'll talk with everybody later. All right, everybody, another update on the yellow submarine base. The decals apply real nice, as you can see here. I'm going to let that dry for a while and I'll take it down to the basement and hit it with a couple coats of clear coat to uh, protect the decals and make sure they won't come off. Um, you can't see the decal paper if you look hard enough but it kind of blends in pretty good with the white. Well, I think it turned out really cool. It's going to really look good with the submarine on the base. Uh, I still need to work on the submarine. i got to take it down to the basement and paint it yellow. Um, that should be within a week or two. But I'm going to let this dry for now and take it down this afternoon to the basement. Then either later tonight or tomorrow I'll apply the switch and the power plug on the side here. I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the base. It turned out really good. And I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the yellow submarine base. I took it to the basement today. Applied a couple coats of clear coat. So I'm going to let that cure and dry overnight. And you see right here I got the yellow submarine on its new vise. Uh, tabletop. I bought this a couple weeks ago from Amazon. It's heavy duty. It's nice. You can pivot and all that. I wanted to get it for models like this that I can put on it and tilt it at a certain angle and paint it. Uh, I think it's really cool. It's something that any everybody should have on their bench. Um, I wanted to share that with everybody and eventually I'll get around to painting the yellow submarine. But back on the base, it's ready to go tomorrow to put the switch in and the um, power plug on the side. So I'm going to let this sit and dry overnight. Figured I'd give everybody an update on the yellow submarine base. And I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, another update on the yellow submarine base. Today is August 6th. What I'm going to do is put the switch in. And the power plug. I have them both right here. And I'm going to put them in with my glue gun. Um, that's about it for the base. Um, I won't do anything else with the base until I get the sub done, but the main part will be finished. I figured I'd give everybody a quick update. Once I get that all done, um, I'll go ahead and film that part too. Um, the decal is applied really nice as you can see here. It's got a nice glossy shine to it. And it turned out really nice. The base looks really good. So I'm going to get working on this, get this done. I got a bottom also for the base painted, but I'm not going to attach it until I get the model done and put it on. But I want to finish it up, put the switch in and the power plug. So I figured I'd give everybody a quick update on the base and I'll talk with everybody later. Alright everybody, final update on the yellow submarine base. I just put in the power switch and the power plug with my glue gun. I'll let everybody take a look at my work. Um, it just the switch pops in there real nice and then I just secure it real good with glue. The same with the power plug you can see here. So the base is done. My next step is to finally try to finish the yellow submarine. That might take another week to a month. I'm working on a workshop down in the basement. I already got a partition wall up with a door so we have animals in the house we all love animals we have cats not dogs we have five cats 
and they're everywhere and uh, I just couldn't do much work down in the basement without them being everywhere in my work area so I uh, had my younger brother help me uh, put a partition wall up with a sliding door we got still some work to move stuff out of my work area but it's gonna be a real nice setup down there uh, for me to build my kits I think it's gonna be pretty awesome that I can walk away and close the door and get back to my work another day it'll be able I'll be able to do more work than just do uh, a little here and there on top of my big work schedule but uh, I wanted to show everybody the final results of the yellow submarine base I think it looks awesome turned out really good the decals applied really nice and I put a clear coat over it so I'm going to go ahead and call this a wrap on the yellow submarine base I like to thank my YouTube subscribers I like to thank everybody for watching and I'll talk with everybody later